this, thought I'd show you some of uh, our prized chickens. That's red there, although we have six other reds, uh, but that's our original red. She's just about ready to lay some eggs, so we're pretty excited about that. But uh, we'll go ahead and get over to the uh, aquaponics, and I'll show you what's been happening. All right, so we are back over here at the raft. Let me zoom out a little bit, sorry. And um, this is the raft that we showed in the uh, other video for the floating. And um, that's a uh, cucumber growing there, and that's a tomato plant. The tomato plant we actually uh, saved out of our... Uh, our garden, our ground garden, um, it had uh, actually been pulled up and it had no roots at all. So I want to show you something. Um, just after a couple of weeks, you can see this root system that this uh, tomato plant has. It's uh, pretty long, pretty intense, and uh, it's doing pretty good. Also, I wanted to show you this, uh, that's a cucumber plant, and if you look real careful, kind of difficult to see, you can see that the root system is actually growing through the styrofoam, not the oasis on it. So that was kind of a cool uh, thing that we saw happening. Uh, we do have some uh, uh, basil growing in here. That's uh, uh, this, this stuff here, hard to see. And uh, we've got some lettuce growing. And uh, I was actually a little shocked at how slow the lettuce has started. Um, but it is started and it is growing. The uh, uh, cucumber actually does better when you don't put the seed in the oasis. Just sit it on there and it does very well. Um, here's another, another uh, plant. This was a pineapple plant and uh, we actually had uh, grown the pineapple in our in-ground garden and uh, cut the top off of it. Cut the top off of it. Sorry, can't speak and um, stuck it in this raft here and uh, it's already got a good root, root system growing and uh, we're hoping to have another uh, pineapple from it uh, within the next year. Um, so that's, uh, that's about the rafts here. I'm going to go ahead and show you something else that we've uh, changed too. I think uh, be pretty interested in it. Okay, uh, so before we had uh, black piping real big. Uh, it was kind of cheap actually. It was uh, $50 for 100 square feet. But the problem was, was at these uh, joints, uh, it was leaking no matter what we could do. So I went ahead and I uh, got one and a half inch PVC pipe and I cut the oasis uh, so that it would fit in. And uh, as you see here, um, it just uh, sits on top and sits into the water. And depending on your water level of your pipe, you make the depth of your uh, oasis. And uh, as you see here, uh, this is some cucumber growing and um, some more. But as you see, like I was talking about earlier, the, uh, the seed is actually on top of the oasis and you can see it growing uh, into the oasis from the top. It seems to be doing better that way than when I planted it. Um, like that one, I actually put into the oasis uh, about two weeks ago, nothing. But that one there, I uh, set on top of the oasis about three days ago. So it seems to be doing better that way. And so that's the way we're going to be doing it. Um, this is all lettuce. Uh, like I said, I'm not too happy with the way the lettuce is growing. So I think I'm going to do a starter green box for it. And uh, uh, get the lettuce growing first and then put it into the aquaponic system. So, uh, uh, as you can see, my stand here, uh, we just did this uh, piping about two weeks ago, and I wanted to make sure it was all going to work before uh, I added to it. But we've got enough here to add uh, probably, I think, about four more uh, pieces of pipe. And uh, that's going to be exciting once we get that all taken care of. And then, uh, this is our next project, and I will tell you about it once we get it all set up. But uh, that shows you something that we have going on there, too. All right, uh, we will see you next time, and uh, hopefully we'll have this uh, whole project up and running.
and you'll be able to see about it.